I always make a site visit once I've decided to work someplace. It's important to find the right scale of the piece uh, for a, a specific space. So size is important. You don't want it too big, you want it pretty good. You want to make something that looks like it's always been there or that it belongs there. Part of that is a mimicry of the surrounding area. Since this is a botanic garden, these are kind of vessel shapes that you might find as part of flowers. There's a forest behind and it reflects the limbs and where this material came from. It's a great thing in a botanic garden as well as uh, botanics are always interested in temporary work. Their flower beds are temporary. So they kind of understand the idea of building something like I make that is a temporary work and is meant to last for two years and then it, you take it down while it still looks good. You have to make your peace with the materials that you find. You do the best you can. Oftentimes it, uh, you know, it prompts uh, another level of creativity because maybe you haven't used that material before. Maybe you have to think about how the lines are going to accumulate. For me, this is something about the natural world, but it's also a bit about drawing. Now, luckily for me, sticks are tapered, and so when I organize them in certain ways, it implies a certain kind of motion, uh, a kind of a freedom almost, a kind of a flow. And so I work very hard on building surfaces that are evocative, that look interesting, that pull the viewer into the work itself. So I've got these big kind of cone shapes uh, that are going to be interesting to go in and look at the sky. They're different sizes. They lean in various ways. Uh, they're beguiling in the sense that you uh, feel like they're one size from when you walk up to them when you get inside there's quite a bit more space and so you know the change of scale is uh, enticing. One of the interesting things about my work is that it kind of reestablishes a connection between uh, artwork, between the making process and the maker and the general public. We, uh, we have an open building site. People walk up and talk to us uh, during the construction phase. You know, most people are interested in how something is built. It's a bit provocative in that way. And uh, the ability to talk to the sculptor, to talk to my assistants that are helping me, to see their own neighbors working on something, uh, you know, it kind of reinvests it with a kind of real world activity. Although for me, it's a way of kind of spinning uh, common material into kind of a fantasy that people enjoy and, and, uh, and will accept. For me, you know, process is important. I know that the objects are important. There is something very beguiling about something, by an object that's tentative that you know that you have to enjoy it while it exists. Uh, you have that connection with natural materials anyway. You know that the sticks and leaves and, and the natural process is for things to become mulch and, and the fertilizer for the next idea, the fertilizer for you know, uh, future plants. So it's, in a way there's a kind of consistency with the material that it would be temporary, that it uh, you know, that has to be enjoyed while, while it's there. I think my job is to make work that's, uh, that excites people's imagination, that stirs my own, uh, that uh, in a way art objects are an excuse for conversations. Uh, they're an excuse for uh, uh, being in the world of ideas and uh, having ideas that surround or swirl around an object and, uh, and engage uh, the artist with the public and the public with the artist and the artwork. Uh, the, when I leave here, the work has got to stand on its own. I really can't talk it to death. I have to uh, hope that there's enough of me and of an idea invested in this work that it, that it speaks and engenders 
uh, kind of long-term conversations with the people that walk up. I do about 10 projects a year, and then I have one week between each project. The other two months, I'm usually making site visits uh, for upcoming projects. So I have to travel a lot. It's worth it uh, because I've had some very fantastic experiences with various communities, uh, 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 sponsoring agencies that I have, be it private person or uh, school or something, allows me a lot of face time with lots of interesting people, people that care about art, uh, people that care about the natural world and, um, you know, really interesting in sharing their vision uh, with the general public and, you know, hoping that an object like this would entice to get people to come over, take a look, uh, look at their garden, uh, walk around their university, uh, you know, come and visit a private garden. Uh, so it, it's, it's a wonderful activity. I get to be outside a lot. Uh, you know, you get to be fit. You have to work like a fiend uh, eight hours a day for three weeks in a row. And so all of that is, uh, you know, a joy.